Hawk Academy, Bangalore, India. Presenting you Study Studious Ideas. This saves revision time and stays stronger in your memory. Here comes an easy approach to study. Now no more worries. This is a next level infographics and the compilations are very funny so that you really enjoy doing that. Easily adaptable and memorable. Recall anytime and anywhere without even re-looking into anything. Saves time on revision and memorizing. No forgetting of what you studied. Memorize whole lesson easily. Translate keywords, dates, names and dynamic sequencing of a list. Teachers at the school use two-dimensional method to explain the lesson. And at the tuition centers, they do the same but with the individual attention. Whereas, the educational apps provide you a three-dimensional learning, but ultimately everything ends with mind mapping of those keywords to memorize and remember that particular lesson. That's where these study studious ideas are going to help you to memorize all the data in the easiest way. Look at this example, discoverers and discoveries. There are about seven foreigners names, eight discovered years and eight description and eight sequences. How quickly you can memorize this data is the biggest challenge. Now in the following slides, all these things are explained in a way which you can never forget. It's a fantastic demonstrative uh, presentation for you to appreciate and indulge into an all different whole new experience. All the best. In this sequence, the first comes, who discovered the cell? First, see the picture of a robber holding a torchlight. So that basically shows a relationship to the cells. So robber, so it is Robert. Okay, and you can see the hooks are there in his hand. So it is Robert Hook. So the cell was first discovered by Robert Hook. It's so simple, isn't it? Which year it is? So you can see Robert is one human being is standing straight, number one. And then there are two hooks. So it is, uh, is resembling number six. So six, six, there are two six. And he is... Holding it in his five fingers, so it is five. So one, six, six, five. Oh, so simple. Yeah, you got it. And then what did he actually observe? Using a primitive microscope, is a very old, uh, you know, the initial microscope. So that is what he used. And you can see, uh, you know, the like a honeycomb, uh, uh, you know, uh, shape. Uh, the cork cells are there. So the that is the cork uh, slice which is which he kept below the microscope under the microscope and observed it. Yes, yeah, so simple. You are so smart to understand that. Look at the sequence connection from this first information to the second information. So in the first information, Robert Hooke was checking the cork slice under the primitive microscope. That's when he saw a hook coming from somewhere and holding onto his microscope and somebody was trying to pull that. When he turns back and what he see, this guy Lee is sitting there on the chair okay, and using a, a fish gun, he was throwing the hook and trying to pull that microscope. So he, Robert Hook turned, looked at him and told him, Hey Lee, you, so this is how the name uh, Lee Yu Wen Hawk 
is connected. So when the who came on to his primitive microscope, he turned and said, Hey Lee, is that you? So Lee Yu Wen Hock is the name you can remember without forgetting, isn't it? And then how do you remember this 1674? You can see first the who came. So it is 6 and obviously it is Lee. So it is 1. And then the fishing gun is 7 and the Lee was sitting on the chair. So it is 4. So the, because the chair has the 4 legs. So it's like that. And the gun was looking like 7. So this is how 1674 is connected. So now what happened? So since he pulled the primitive microscope, it got little long. It became it elongated. So it is an improved microscope. Okay, With the improved microscope, he discovered free living cells in the pond water. Why? Because when he pulled the microscope, it fell into the pond water. And that is how for the first time, he discovered free living cells in the pond water. Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? So all the informations are linked and connected. So there is a sequencing link which are very strong and prominent. Yes, good. Now connecting the sequence from 2 to 3, there were free living cells in the pond water. Suddenly one trident came and hit one cell. And the person who was holding the trident was again a robber and he had a face mask which is brown in color. So he is obviously Robert Brown, you know. Discoverer is Robert Brown. Yes. So don't forget that. So Robert Brown is coming in sequence 3 and the discovered year was 1831. And uh, how we connected that? Because Robert, the human, is one and he was handcuffed. The handcuff is eight and he was holding the trident, which is three. It hit one cell, so it is one. So what he discovered? By hitting the cell, he saw there is a nucleus in the cell. So interesting, isn't it? So funny to remember. I'm sure you can never ever forget all this. Well... There are more frames to continue. So you please watch the following video to learn the uh, other sequences of the same uh, subject. Thank you.